I'm Lauren and this is Intense. Today on the show we've got a beatboxer who goes by the name of Loops. And we're going to be talking to Tommy about what you know about festivals. First of all, we're going to talk to Alice. And she's going to be giving us the lowdown of what to wear at festivals this summer and what's essential to take with you. <laughs> Hello, first of all we're going to be talking about the do's and don'ts to festival fashion. First we've got Fern Cotton who's wearing a baby doll dress with a classic parka and some quirky boots. I think that looks really nice. Um, she always looks nice though, doesn't she? Mm, true. <laughs> Next year, Florence has taken a pair of scissors to an old vintage dress and worn round frame glasses to make it her own. Mm, not too sure on the socks or those shoes though. The glasses are very fun, quite retro. Coco has chosen sensible footwear for a festival but it doesn't quite go with the rest of her outfit. So make sure you do choose good footwear but know what you're going to wear them with. Yeah, I don't really like that to be honest. She looks scruffy, it's not a good look. Next you have Whitney, who's gone for graphic prints and tie-dyes, which will work if you want to stand out at your festival and be bright. I'd like to know where she got those shorts from. They look really good on her. Yeah. Lastly, we have Alexa, who's gone for an army shirt instead of a normal coat or a barber, just to be different. Well, at least I know what I'll be wearing this summer. <laughs> and what not. <laughs> So what's like the most essential things that I need to take with me? Well, I have a basket here of the 10 most essential things. It's wellies, socks, a hat, um, fin bags, sun cream, bandana, toothpaste and toilet roll. <laughs> toilet roll. Great stuff. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for that, Alice. Um, now we're over to Loops, showing us his mad skills. That was very impressive, thank you for that. Um, I wish I could beat books like that. Why don't you give it a go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear, I think you should leave that to the professionals. Speaking of professionals, we're joined by Sam, aka Loops. That was amazing. Thank you. So, how did you get into it? I got into beatboxing through watching videos on YouTube and just watching my sort of inspirations. Who inspired you? Um, Beardy Man, who used to be world champion. Uh, we have any good ones, eh? um, <laughs> and, yeah, and then mm. there's quite a few people there to my mind. Oh, Beardy cool. Man's got an interesting name, as do you, Loops. Where did you get that from? That name came from a group of friends. Um, we were just like, didn't know what to like, name me as an act, so we come up with that and it worked. Kind of. <laughs> I think it does work, yeah, it's good. So have you done like, many sets or anything? Yeah, I've performed at the O2, uh, Bournemouth Pavilion, and just different venues around Bournemouth. Oh, nice. So, um, what advice would you give to people who want to start beatboxing? The advice I'd give to upcoming beatboxers is to just to keep at it and don't give up, really, because it's not uh, you know something they can pick up straight away. No. So, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> There's some sound advice. Thank you very much, Sam. Um, 
Now we have Tommy telling us what you like about festivals. What festivals have you been to? Uh, Isle of Wight two years ago. Glastonbury, the Isle of Wight Festival and Festival. Reading. Isle of Wight. Uh, Isle of Wight as well. well I've been to Benicassim, Reading. Uh, going to Glastonbury and Feed Fest this year. Tea in the Park. I've been to the Isle of Wight Festival, Camp Festival. Llama Tree, loads of them. They're all brilliant. Four on one's the best day. Honeyfest, which was like a little festival in the Salisbury area. And Isle of Wight and Tea Four on the Beach when I was a little young girl. What bands did you see then? Uh, not some lot. Yeah, <laughs> loads, of, loads of different bands. Chasing Status, Kings of Leon, Two Door Cinema Club. Yeah. Well, favourite bands have got to be Underworld, Basement Jacks, The Cure, Nero, uh, Pendulum, Prodigy, Oasis, Razorlight, Libertines, Food Fighters, Muse, uh, Rolling Stones, Sex Pistols. <sighs> Too many. A decade's worth of bands. Brilliant bands. Out of all the festivals you've been to, which one stands out the most? Nice. Only one. Probably, I've only been to one, but the one that stands out is probably Glastonbury. Glastonbury is going to be the best. Yeah, definitely. definitely Glastonbury. Best experience by far. Uh, the best third day was probably nice. It's got to be TDK Cross Central in London. I don't even think it exists anymore, but it's a crazy dance music festival and it was blinding. What would you advise someone to bring to a festival that is essential? Cake. A keg and a man mankini. Turn, yeah. you prep like the red. Like, <laughs> Safe and bag. Uh, crunchy nut and milk. Yeah, bone. Probably a ten. Toilet roll. Uh, a wheelbarrow. Yeah. And wellies. A wheelbarrow. Nothing else. Just a wheelbarrow. Welly boots. Welly yeah. boots are the thing to Rain have. Mac. Oh. Toothpaste. Lots of booze. And I took a fold-up bucket as well, actually, because you can fill it up with water and then you can stick your hair in it <laughs> and wash it and freshen you up as well. My central festival top tip is definitely got to be apples because A, they're good for you, and B, they don't get crushed when you're in the middle of a mosh pit. What festival would you like to see before you die? In Glastow. Glastow. Reading again. Uh, Glastonbury, um, I think that for the festival. Glastonbury. <laughs> I'd say Glastonbury and the Spanish festival as well. It's one in Spain which is like proper rocky. The one festival I want to go to see before I die is going to be Coachella Festival in, I think, west of America because about three years ago they had Daft Punk and Madonna at the same time. Any festival does that, gets my vote. Bonkers. Thank you, Tommy. That's very insightful. Now, to close the show, we've got Loops again with his final set. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.